My name is Leonie. I'm the Valtra Demon driver and today I'm meeting Massimo because he is going to tell me everything about the Spartan from Valtra. Hi. Hi. Tell me Massimo, what is the Valtra Smart Turn exactly? Well, it's a smart farming feature for turning automation. It was now uh, recently updated with K and Y uh, turning pattern. Y and K, what is it all about? Well, it helps you uh, when you have a, a mounted implement and you can go path by path without skipping any lines. Okay, but why do we need that update? Well, um, you know, um, turning times sometimes are um, underestimated and by the end of the day, uh, using this system, you can save up to 20% of your time. And then you can focus on your implement and be more relaxed by the end of your journey. What do I need to get it to work? Well, of course, a Valtra fitted with the guidance. Regardless of the precision, we will run RTK, but it doesn't matter. And of course, these smart farming features. You can have it straight away from the factory, so you can order your tractor with the, these smart farming solutions, or you can, be, you can retrofit it later just contacting your dealer. Okay, I think enough with the talking. Yeah. Let's try it out. Massimo, I already did some plowing, so there uh, are already measurements into the system. But what do we need to get this working? Well, um, for this system, it's important to also have um, other measurement of the of the implement because you want to know the system, want to know the physical dimension of the system. You don't want to hit any fences or any tree, so the system needs to know how many space it will require for for, for the turning. Let's have a look in the terminal. We have now this menu, so you can add uh, more uh, information about your implement geometry. And it will, this will affect um, the turning path and the turning uh, spacing also. Okay. Okay. Then we can have a look to the other settings that you need to, uh, to adjust before uh, turning on the system. Adler segment, uh, you can adapt, you can uh, make individual segment uh, width. So uh, only on the segment that you want to perform your turning, you can adjust uh, the width, so the distance that the, the system is allowed uh, to turn. And this is um, one of the key elements to, to properly set the system. Yeah. It also works this way with the U-turn. Yeah, that's the same. Yes, yes for okay. sure. Yeah. And now uh, with the K and the Y, of course, because of the dimension and because of the uh, geometry of the turning, you can uh, now use a shorter, uh, smaller um, head lens. Okay, cool. Okay, you are already familiar with this, um, this screen. Basically, here we have all the settings for the smart turn. You can see the two uh, addition uh, um, turning pattern, the K and the Y. And as before, uh, these are all the other uh, input that you need to uh, adjust uh, to into the system. Uh, working direction, so right or left. Your starting path, meaning uh, where you are in the field in, uh, at this moment. Uh, and the pattern width, so how many uh, lines you want to skip, okay? On the bottom, you can see a preview of your uh, turning. So in this case, 87 will be performed, uh, 12 knots. Uh, just press on the map and you can have a look and uh, understand when the, where the system will work and where not. Everything is set. You can adjust eventually your uh, turning radius uh, if you have a trailer implement. Uh, the optimal turning speed is set automatically and I would say you are ready to go now. Okay, okay. so let's try it out. We start with the K turn. Yes, let's start with the K, yep. Great. Okay. Nice. Nice. So when I'm close to over there, I'll tell you now it's your turn. Yeah. Right? Let's give it a try. 
Die ersten gelben sind doch. Oh. Oh. Okay, now I think it's time for you to try, right? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Great. I think I know how it works right now. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, there goes the cave. Exactly. Get ready to reverse. Yes. Turn. 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 As soon as the structure is straight, it's yep. rubber. So now. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's really cool yeah. how straight it will be by itself, right? Forward. And then go back on the right track. Was that easy? Yes! Yeah, it was. I did it! <laughs> Down the tractor did it. Look. Yes. Yes. I mean, you can guess it, please. So we're almost done here. Yes. Slows down by itself or turns by itself. Here's the plow. Lift the plow by itself. Makes a perfect straight line. Be forward. And then backwards. And then we turn it in the shape of a K. Yep. That's a K. Massimo, the plan went really well. We see the K turn and the Y turn. Mm -hmm. But now I'm curious how it worked with the U turn and the. Um, the power field mode. Power field mode. Yep. Yeah, that's what we're going to do now. But let's change first mm -hmm. to the seating machine. Yeah, let me help you and let's give it a try. Cool. So we change the implements. Mm -hmm. There's also an implement in the front right now. Yeah. Does the smart turn take that in consideration? Yeah, yeah, for sure. As long as you put into the terminal all the settings, uh, the smart turn will consider that you have a, a front implement. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how would it work then? Well, now we can uh, turn the system into the uh, U-turn and the plot field mode. Um, we have seen before uh, plowing with the K and the Y turn, you can do pass by pass, so yep. without uh, skipping any lanes, uh, any lines. Um, you can still do it also with the U turn and mode, uh, or you can skip your lines. We will show, I will show you later that uh, depending on how much lines you are skipping, uh, your turn uh, dimension and geometry will uh, change and this must uh, this might require different headland width so um, depending on the situation it might be wise to uh, skip more lanes uh, let's say maybe two three four lines in order to have a shorter a smaller at the ends okay yeah. um, that's another thing that we like to uh, to remember and to advise 
um, if you are not running uh, with a very um, good uh, correction signal that does not provide a very good reflectability, uh, we wouldn't advise you uh, to skip many lanes because then uh, you would have some uh, some issue when you want to match back um, the previous li uh, lines, okay? Yes. So let's have a look now in the terminal uh, what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into the menu. Now we are there, actually. M2, M3, yes, okay. You can see now that with the new turn uh, mode, we are skipping uh, two lines, button width is two. And with this current set, we are, um, we are able to make 28 turns and four um, we are not able to. If we open the map. This one? Yes. And you can zoom in one corner maybe. Yeah. <laughs> You can see that almost all the turns uh, fits inside the field and just in the corner you cannot and that's uh, that's normal i mean yeah. let's get back let's try to put uh, one pattern width so uh, skipping just one way lines yeah, and you can see that this number changes drastically can we can we open the map again yes that's what i meant you already see that there are lots of black lines yeah yeah, because the, the geometry, the shape of the turn will uh, exceed the boundary of the field. So it wise, uh, it's uh, it's recommended to take in consideration that you might skip maybe two or three uh, way lines in order to add a smaller way lines. That's that's clear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you need more space to turn. Yeah. Yeah. It's up to you, and every field is different. Every setup is different, so it's just a matter to understand uh, the logic of the system and to adapt uh, every time, okay? So, now time to... to Put it back to the time? Yeah, back to turn. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I hear them beep, so now you will lift up the front implement. Yeah, that's right. And also the back. Yes. And it starts to turn. Yeah. It also slows down completely yeah. by itself. Yeah. Yeah. All is set in the auto pilot sequence. Yeah. So it makes a turn and we skip one line. One line. Yeah. You don't have to do anything, right? Almost done. You're just sitting there seeing that everything works. That everything works. That is nice. And it gets down by itself. But what is the big difference between the uh, U-turn and the K in the Y-turn? Well, of course, uh, with K and Y, you can use it with a mounted implement because you can reverse. With U and partial mode, you actually cannot uh, go backwards. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically, it's gone is the space that requires that is required by the system to turn so in general uh k and y requires smaller shorter um cadence. but again it depends mostly on how many lines you want to skip yeah that's the key element of the system and you need to adapt yourself and your settings depending on the field and the operation on the internet is, uh, I would say it's now a very flexible system, very flexible solution. Then lifting up. You can see there, slowing down. Making the turn. Yes. Skipping one way line. And now we're turning right. Right, yes. Then then we turn left. And back with the implements. And this here. And see it again. So we're driving the power field mode. And the four field mode is helping you do a part of the field, right? Yes. To prioritize the first part of the field where you are beginning. Yeah. So you're not doing 
only turns and it, it's almost like you're doing a line and then the turn and the line and then so it's not really a circle but kind of a circle yeah so it, 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 it won't happen that you have half of your field done and half not yeah so it will complete one part of the field first yes now lift it up again there we go one way to turn Turn, 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 turn. All by itself, my hands are here. Okay. Then we're back on the track. Thank you. Was a pleasure. Yes, same for me. Thank you. Have a safe flight back. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the field. Yes, I will. I will. I uh, will enjoy more than I did before. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> Here we go!